it's that time of the year to uh, make applesauce, and uh, I thought I'd share this video with you. Our apples stunk this year, so we went up to the local apple orchard, and we bought a bushel of um, what they call seconds, and what they are is as they pack the, am the apples, they uh, pick out any you know, damaged ones, bruised ones, or as you can see, some little holes. I mean, they're really great for applesauce, and it only costs like eight bucks for a bushel of them, so that's what we use. And this is a, uh, you know, job that requires canning. And as with every other job that requires canning, first thing you do is I kind of get my jars out. And then I give them a really good washing, uh, with, you know, real hot water, soap. And uh, this is a real wonderful brush that I found to use for cleaning them. So with the jars all ready, I put the lids in a pot so I can heat them up also. And then I just take a canning pot and put the jars in there with some water just to start heating them up for the process to sterilize them. In the meantime, my wife's uh, over in the corner, starts cutting up some of the apples and peeling them. And when I got that done, I started helping her too. Now, we had one of those little uh, spinner things for doing apples, but it seems like we always find out that it's quicker to just do them with a knife and peel them like this and cut out the bad spots as you go along. In the end, I think it, you know, it does take a little bit less time to do it this way. So what we do is we just peel them, we core them, and then we just cut them into some chunks that we can boil down easy. And here's what we got all together after about 20 minutes of peeling. We got two pots full, and there's still maybe a little bit less than a quarter of the bushel left. So what we do is we put the pots on the stove, put a small amount of water in each one, and then bring it to a boil and just cook it down until it all fits in one pot. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll um, start to cook down real quick. And then when that's all done, we take this hand blender, I guess they call it. I call it a motor boat motor and um, just go, go through the sauce. And we try to get it pretty, um, pretty much like sauce, but we still leave some chunks in it. And, you know, you have to keep the applesauce just below a boil there and then we just we have the jars that have been steaming just to sterilize them and get them ready so it's time to take them out of the pot of hot water and start filling them this this is just the same as any other canning procedure that you go through it helps to have a uh, one of those canning funnels and you have to be real careful at this point because you're dealing with uh, that applesauce that's basically boiling hot right now. And it can burn you real bad. So just a matter of going back and filling each jar up. I try to leave them filled a little bit low. I don't fill them up to the half inch headspace that's required. And then once you get them filled, you take that little canning helper tool and just kind of poke it down in each jar and try to make sure that you get any air pockets or bubbles that are in there out. And then use the little little measurements on or the steps on the the edge of it there to set up your half inch headspace. Each one of them is a quarter inch, so two steps down is a half inch. Then what I do is I take a uh, piece of damp paper towel and just go back over and wipe the rims just to make sure that there is nothing uh, going to be under that lid when you put it on. In the meantime, the lids have just been brought up to a simmer to heat them up. You don't boil them, you just simmer them. And then you just place them on uh, each of the jars and go back and apply a one of the rings loosely. Now, when, you, when I get all the rings on, what I like to do is just go back and take one of those jar mitts to hold it and just kind of snug it up with my fingers to the proper snugness for the, uh, to go into the canner. Then uh, these jars all go back into that water bath canner pot. And you just have to bring that back up to a boil. Well, here I had to add a little bit more water because you really need an inch of water over the top of the jars when they process. And you bring that back up to a boil, and then they call for the ball blue book calls for 20 minutes processing time. So you must maintain that at a boil for 20 minutes. 
And then as the timer counts down, uh, 20 minutes is up. And it's time to just remove the jars from the pot. Now you always have to be careful when working around this much steam. So make sure that you've got a you know a good pair of jar picker uppers like that. And um, just don't keep your hand in the steam too long. So here we have it. The first batch of uh, applesauce is processed and ready to cool. As these jars cool, you know that you'll hear a, um, a popping sound as they seal. And then the next thing we're going to do is just go back and load this canner up with more jars for the second batch of applesauce. Uh, and, and as I said before, you just have to be careful with all the steam. Now we're just going to go through the same process all over again. And, you know, make sure that you sterilize the jars good and you bring the applesauce back up to a boil before packing it in the jars because it is a hot pack this way. And there we have it. I got two batches out of it and just got, had about a ladle full left to enjoy. Now, when we make our applesauce, we do not put any sugar in it. Uh, we like it unsweetened, but you can always add sugar, it, you know, at the time you're making it. As with everything else that we can, we always kind of try to follow the recipes and times that are in the Ball Blue Book. Now, people ask me how much it costs to put food up like this, and this one's a real easy one to figure out. Uh, we got 16 jars of applesauce out of about $6 worth of apples that we bought the seconds, and then probably another $2 for the 16, you know, replaceable lids. So, you know, you can do the math. You can see that to get a good fresh product like this, it really does not cost that much. It's mostly just the couple of hours that it takes you to process it. So now I'm just going to let these jars sit on this these wooden racks overnight and just let them cool before I remove the rings, wash the jars, and then label them. So um, next thing I want to show you just is how I keep all my canning supplies together. I bought one of these plastic bins, and I found out that it really works great to keep everything together and to be able to go down in the basement and just grab it all at once and bring it up. And I built the island to hold 16 of these bins, and that really helped me to keep everything organized and easy to find. So here we are the next day. The, uh, the jars have all been washed and cleaned and labeled now. And basically, they're ready to go down into the root cellar for storage. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.